YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in about two weeks, but here I am. So today's video is gonna be just some holiday tips as we are approaching Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. I, knew, I know that in this type of business, you can get a lot more objections. You might wonder whether you should take time off or if you should keep going. So stay tuned for this video as I go over just some holiday tips. But first and foremost, guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of the positive comments and feedback that I've been getting on a lot of my videos. It means so much to me that you guys are motivated, inspired, and that you enjoy my content. That's honestly all I could really ask for. So I just wanna take some time and just really say thank you so much guys to all of the support that I've been getting on majority of my videos. I really, really appreciate it and it always makes my day. And the second thing that I wanna interject quickly here is that I am taking on agents into my agency. I've had a couple people reach out to me and set up some one-on-one -on -one calls with me. Um, I have a lot of the similar questions whenever I have one-on-one -on -one meetings. So I just wanna go ahead and address them here just so if anybody's watching this video and, you, and you're interested in joining the team, then I wanna quickly just go over the questions that I get a lot. Um, your commission does start off at 100%, so I know a lot of agents that are joining on the team, they're coming from different companies where, uh, where their commission is about 40, 50, 60%, so it makes a huge difference. Of course, there's always room to grow, so don't think that you're capped there. You actually can advance to 150%, but we can go into more in depth on how you get there. If you click the link below, you can go into more details um, on that. Second most frequently asked question is, um, how does it work with the carriers? Am I an agent? Am I a broker? Is this captive? So you would be an independent life insurance broker. So I'm, I'm able to help you get appointed with 15 to 20 different insurance carriers. So that is amazing for you and your client that you're sitting in front of. Um, you are independent, so do not think that you're joining this team or, the, or my agency and I get to tell you what to do. It's nothing like that. Really, my job is just to lead and guide you and provide these opportunities that you're not getting that you wouldn't be able to get in different companies such as the carriers uh, the commission level and the uh, lead so that's another frequently asked question uh, we do have our own lead marketing partner that supplies us really really great leads um, at such a great price so it is something that you will invest in into your business so just keep that in mind that um, yes you will be investing in your leads which is honestly in my opinion the best route to go I think investing in yourself investing in your business is always going to be uh, the number one thing that you can do for yourself and the last frequently asked question is training so with the agents in my agency right now like I said we are all 1099s we're all our own bosses I'm not here to tell you how to work your business um, if anything I'm just here for guidance and direction and you get to utilize me as much as you can some agents I spend more time going doing one-on-one -on -one phone calls with them doing one-on-one -on -one training with them doing live dials live door knocking with them versus other agents you know if they're not really interested in that type of hoorah uh, calls or type of um, or that in-depth training you know to each their own you get as much direction guidance and training as you initiate so I'm not going to force anything on you if you want to learn you want to grow you want that one-on-one -on -one training then of course you know you want to be the one to initiate that to better yourself and better your business so with all that being said I hope that answers any questions that you guys might have out there and if you have other questions and you want more details on this opportunity there is a link down below that I will pin that will allow you to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we can go over everything and see if this agency is the right fit for you all right guys so let's go ahead and jump into the main video all righty guys so as the holidays are coming up we have thanksgiving christmas new year's i think a lot of us in this industry are going to want to kick back and relax all of november all of december now if you already have your mindset and you have plans and you have all of these things going around and you're in a comfortable position to go ahead and do that you know then by all means but I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about what I feel, my personal opinion, and what I'm going to do. And for anybody who wants to take the advice and put it into their own business, then I hope this video finds you well. So three main things. Should you work during the holidays? In my personal opinion, I think that you should. But I wanna cover three different topics about holiday work. So one thing, I would suggest to double up on your leads because yes, during the holidays, you're gonna have a lot more people giving you a lot more objections. You're gonna hear 
oh, it's at, it's Thanksgiving next week, or I don't have money because Christmas is next month. Can you come back in January? Or they're not there because they're out of town. You name it. The objections are going to be soaring high, and that is okay. But when you put the numbers in your favor, you're gonna you're going to find those families. You're going to find those people who, you know, don't go anywhere for the holidays, or maybe you know they're alone because their spouse already passed away or their family members are so far from them so you you'll find those families or those those individuals who spend the holidays alone and you'll come across those who actually want your companionship who want somebody to go over and you know talk about insurance or just you know have somebody to to have a conversation with so my advice would be to double up on leads if that is something that you can do and budget in for yourself Number two, have fun. So of course it's gonna be a little bit tougher to get in front of families, to book appointments. You're really gonna have to know how to handle those objections. So not only am I advising to have fun, but be prepared. So be prepared for knowing the type of objections that you're going to hear. And it's most likely the ones that I just said. And you're gonna have people telling you one of two things. Can you come back in January? It's the holidays right now. Or hey, I'm actually out of town whatever the case may be. So you wanna be prepared for that objection. That way you're not just there on the phone saying, yeah, okay, I'll come back in January. Cause then you, like, you don't wanna go ahead and do that. So just be prepared to have those objections and know what to say. And the second portion was have fun. When you're out there, when you're dialing, when you're meeting people, have fun. During, because, yeah. during this time of the year, you wanna be cheerful, you wanna be happy, you wanna make sure that you're going out there and just knowing like, you know what? I'm just gonna have fun this holiday season and I'm gonna put the numbers in my favor and I'm just gonna help people and I'm going to have a good time doing this. And the last one, number three, don't have the highest of expectations it's because then you're going to feel really down when maybe you don't get to set as many appointments as you did back in October or September. You know, don't expect yourself to be um, booking 40 appointments in one week and helping 30 families. It's gonna be a little rough because of the holiday season, but don't put yourself down if you're not doing 40 appointments in a week and closing 30 policies. You know, don't be so hard on yourself for, for not reaching those high, high numbers that you usually hit. But all right guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you took something from it and I hope everybody just has a really good holiday season, a really great Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Um, I genuinely don't know when I'm going to upload the next video. So if I don't see you guys very soon, happy Thanksgiving. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.